Hey guys, so due to some technical difficulties, I'd, I filmed this um, new leg yielding video for you and the sound was rubbish. Bit of wind, lots of birds, various noises meant that you, probably because I was in the long arena as well. But anyway, this is Lexi. She is about eight. She has, so she's definitely not at the same level of dressage training that Otto is. She's only just really started to learn any of the moves um, for dressage. So I thought I'd show you the difference with her compared to Otto when teaching the leg yield. Um, we've just kind of started getting her into this because I'm trying to turn my mom into a dressage diva. So I've been helping her like um, just train the lateral steps into her. So I'll try and explain this exactly as I was when I was riding it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bring her up the three quarter line here. Try and keep her fairly straight and just ask her over with my inside leg to start with just to see where we were at with it. You see, she doesn't just instantly step sideways like Otto does. What I'm looking to try and do is every time this inside hind leg comes off the floor, I want to put my inside leg on, so that's my right leg on this rein, and ask her to step sideways with that with that leg. Does that make sense? So every time she just lifts it up, I think push it over so that she comes a little bit more sideways. Now, what happens is if you haven't got them in front though, if you haven't got a good contact, which is why you shouldn't train it beforehand, I'm gonna show you here. First of all, she tries to trot off and then she just turns her shoulders and just walks across the school, which is obviously not what you're looking for in the leg yield. You want her to be straight parallel with the with the boards or the poles or the outside of your arena. Yeah, so you want her to be going facing forwards but stepping sideways as she goes. So you really have to make sure you've got them nice and even in the contact. They um should also have a little bit of a flexion to the inside. So she should flex to the right on this rein. Um Again, it's difficult to put this all in them at once. On this range, she was a little bit easier. So um, I could give her a little bit of right flexion here. See, so she's looking over towards the camera and then just ask her over and over. So she rushes a little bit because she still thinks that when you put your leg on, it just means go forward. And I'm not going to punish her for doing that because that's what we train into the horses, isn't it? You put your leg on, they go. Now all of a sudden I'm like, no, no, this I'm putting one leg on and I just want you to move sideways. She's clearly not going to understand that straight away. So don't ever get cross with them or upset with them for that. Just um, keep reassuring them. Every time they do anything that's remotely in the right direction, you know, tell them they're good. Um, now I'm coming off the center line, not because all of a sudden she's good enough to go on such a steep angle, but just so you've got a little bit more space before we run out of track, you know, to show you. So you see she starts... Her rhythm starts varying a little bit and she gets a little bit like, ooh. And then here she's like, okay, okay, I'll go sideways. But she, she see how she trails her bum a little bit. So her shoulders are in front and her, and her bum's getting a little bit left behind. That's okay too when they're first learning. It's obviously not the end result or how you want them to go. But it, that is absolutely fine. We can, you know, we can work towards making it straighter. So what I do with her on this rein to stop that now is I'm just going to ride her a little bit straighter in the neck. I don't have so much inside flexion. And then, and then what I'll do is just ask her to come sideways and then make sure she's a little bit straight on my outside rein. Let's give a little half halt down the outside rein and then put my inside leg on again. So it's kind of like the inside leg goes, my right leg goes and moves sideways and then my left half halt down the rein goes but stay straight and then right leg move sideways left hand stay straight yeah one after the other again if you do them at the same time you're just going to confuse them so i'm just going to change the rein on her now and have a go the other way this rein as you'll see when she comes round she's a little bit more inclined to just um put too much left bend in you just want flexion not bend she really wants to bend to the left all the time. So she um, really bends to the left and then she kind of falls out the right shoulder then. Yeah, you'll see in a minute what I mean. So on this rein, it's really, um, I really, really needed to keep her straight in the neck. 
So you see here, they're always different one round to the other and that's absolutely fine. Do you know they're like always the stronger to the left or the right? So you see I put a little bit of left flexion in here and then watch the shoulder just takes over and she just bulges out and she kind of took over on this range. She was a little bit braver to go, I oh know, I'm just going to bend my neck and rush to the track. So again, I'm not going to tell her off for that because she's not, you know, she, she was trying all the time, trying to figure out what I was asking her to do. So as long as she's given me something, you know, she went sideways. So I was like, that's fine. That's okay. So now I think rather with a straighter neck, she fought me a little bit on this. It's not easy. Do you know, it doesn't come straight away. It's not just like, oh, well, if I ride it this way, it will definitely make it better. You see, and then her rhythm starts varying again. Don't worry about that. You can, that'll all come later on. For now, I just want to apply the aids and for her to begin to understand what I want her to do with them. So he would come again. I'll just probably, oh no, not this time. I was going to say, start coming a little bit further than the three quarter line. So yeah, again, like what I said to you on the other end, this is about keeping her really straight. So now it's with my right hand. I'm going to keep her nice and straight in the neck, push her over with my left leg, over, over, straight and with my right hand and then just ride her straight up the, like where I am. Don't keep going sideways because she's taken over and rushing sideways. I want to stop her doing that. So you see there, I just rode her straight for a couple of strides. And then also when they're inclined to just rush back to the track, um, what I tend to do with them is make sure I've got them really, really straight at the start. And there is nothing stopping you. I could ride straight. If she kept bulging and trying to go back to the track, I would absolutely just keep riding her straight down the three quarter line. You know, you don't need to do the leg yield every time. You need them to move over when you say so, not because they just think you're going to ask it. And then you see what happens here. The penny starts to drop with her a little bit. And then all of a sudden her bum nearly starts taking over. Oh, there you go. See, she's trying. I'm not too, I'm really not too worried about the rhythm because it will come when she knows that, you know, when she's got the confidence. So, um, yeah, she, she was a good girl, but she tries a little bit too hard sometimes and then gets cross. So then I picked up the trot just to show you. I kept her on this rein, which was definitely the more difficult rein to ride. But I thought that I can just show you the difference with the trot um, and teaching it in the walk, why I do that is because obviously everything comes faster in the trot. If she bulged out and rushed to the track in the walk, she's definitely going to do it in the trot, but it's going to happen quicker. And then it's harder for you to catch it and fix it. Yeah. So I just, um, there you go. See me ride her straight again. So she really fought it and she was like, no, no, I'm going back to the poles. But I just kept her straight until she gave up um, debating with me about it and then I asked her to move sideways again then we'll do the same down this long side so down here it's a little bit of like a few steps sideways then straight then sideways again yeah so ask her to go sideways then she goes too much sideways there you go and then we caught her bum up did you see that and then um then her shoulders led again then her bum caught up again and that's absolutely fine I know it looks a little bit messy but the point is she's starting to get the concept, yeah? And it'll all come together in the end. So then here we go, one last last little one. See, her bum started to lead again then. And then it's like, no, bring the shoulders, bring the shoulders. Now bring the bum. And that's her. And that's it. Lexi says, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys. Oh.